tips and for women in their early 20s, don't be stupid. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Don't get pregnant. All right. Unless he's a millionaire. And don't get married that young. Wait till at least you 25 and up. I flirt in the office with shy boss who likes me. He's supposed to be flirting with you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Eye contact, ma'am. Eye contact always. Let it linger a little longer than it should. And let him always make the first move. All you need to do is a little eye contact. That's that's a signal to anybody. Look, I see you. You wanna see you wanna see me? You know what to do. Sparkle, sparkle. So just a little bit of eye contact, smile a little bit more, and that's it. Everything else is up to him. Why does it matter if you're poor? If he if you look good, he's gonna spend, man. You telling me you ugly or you telling me you're poor? Which one is it? Because none, one has nothing to do with the other. I'm poor. How do I get him to spend on me? Uh, look good? You think he's looking at your bank account or your face or your body? He's not looking at your bank account, ma'am. He don't want to sleep with your bank account. He don't want to take your bank account out and pull. He don't want to kiss your bank account. He wants you, ma'am. What you looking like? Do you look ugly? Does he need your money to date you? Like, what is it? You got to pay somebody to date you? Otherwise, what does being poor have to do anything with having a man spend on you? You ugly, you poor in looks. Then we might have a problem. Then you might need to go watch RuPaul's Drag Race and, and fix yourself. Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Miss Kafue. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the most important things you would wish you knew by the time you were 30. Or advice for 20 something year olds. Like if you're 20 and up or even 18 and up and you're not yet 30, I think this advice or even if you're 30, some of this advice can really apply to you and can really be helpful. I think two months ago I did a certain video of the same sort, like women sharing advice to young women and that and you, you guys loved that video. So I decided to do another video like that one. So in this video, you'll get to hear different perspectives from different women about different things. And you'll get to learn a lot. Myself, I've learned a lot. I, I was taking notes from this video. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. And then I'll be back to give my take on this video. Three things I wish I knew before I was 28. Don't you go broke trying to look like everybody that's broke. Yeah, they might have the latest fashion on, but the latest bill ain't paid. Number two, having your bills paid is underrated. As an adult, I will sleep in my bed all day as long as my bills are paid. Food in the fridge? Oh yeah, I'm in the house. And number three, nobody's actually impressed by the shit that you're doing to impress everybody. Relax, take it easy. That you're stressing over the wrong thing, sis. Three things I wish I knew in my early 20s. Maintaining friendships is not gonna look the way it does in high school. And I've come to realize how much effort friendships actually take. And because I know I'm not capable of spreading myself that thin, I keep a very small amount of friends because quality over quantity. And I can't maintain more than three friendships. I know my limits. Number two, surround yourself with people you actually want to be like. You might be stuck in the same position in life because of the people you surround yourself with. And you could literally jump 10 years ahead in success just by being around the right people. But number three, stop waiting to be successful to start acting successful. I wish more people understood that. The literal key to becoming anything you want in life is pretending. If you're in your 20s, I want you to hear me loud and clear. You should not be settling in any aspect of your life, not in your career, not in your relationships, not in your friendships, not in your circumstances, nothing. You should be trying to level up in literally every area of your life. You are out into the world by yourself for the first time and literally the world is your oyster. You are figuring out what you do like, what you don't like, what serves you, what doesn't serve you. You are trying new things, you are failing, you are learning. That is what this season of your life is for. Don't hold on to things just because they are okay and you're fearful that you won't get better. Don't hold on to relationships just because they check some of the boxes and you're worried that you won't find somebody else. Don't stay in your career just because it's stable with the income, but you hate what you do. This is a time to try new things, step outside of your comfort zone, and stop settling. Eight pieces of advice from a 28-year-old that everyone needs to hear. One, it's okay to miss them even after you cut them off. I miss my mom every day, but that woman does not have my number. Two, no contact is going to change your life. Stop keeping people in your life that serve no purpose just to prove to them that you're doing good. They don't need to see you on social media living your best life. Trust me, they're already miserable. But number three, you're never going to be ready to have kids. Trust me, I have a four-year-old 
And I'm telling you right now, regardless of preparation, you're never gonna be ready. These little things change every day and you just gotta catch up. I'm fighting for my life. Number four, your 20s don't have to be for dating. Enjoy yourself, baby. You only get these years once. Five, a comfort show. I'm telling you, having a comfort show has done wonders for my mental health. Sometimes I just need to escape the world and I need to escape to one that doesn't exist in real life. And six, being a people pleaser is not gonna make them like you. People are always gonna find something wrong regardless. And number seven, if you feel like you have to change yourself to thrive in that environment, that environment is not for you, baby. And seven and eight, it's okay to be selfish and it's okay not to give things that I learned now that I'm grown grown let's get into it stay out of the refrigerator you're in there every 30 minutes wear deodorant a history of trauma will have you mistaken peace for boredom if you wear cuter gym clothes it'll motivate you to go to the gym the happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts Stop scamming small businesses. There is no cheat in a good body. You either work for it or you didn't. Eat more fruits. 10 years from now, make sure you can say that you chose your life. You didn't settle for it. Breathe. Unclench your jaw. Relax your shoulders. Everything's going to be okay. Heartbreak is hard, but wasting years of your life with someone who is not meant for you is even harder. Let them go. Question. Are you the best version of yourself that you could possibly be? Sis, the whole outfit can't be given Shein and Fashion Nova. Switch it up a little bit and invest in one good shoe and one good bag. Take a vacation this year. You deserve it. We are five months away from summer. If you decide to start your fitness journey now, you will look incredible in your bathing suit. Start now. All things are possible for me. All things are possible for me. That's the affirmation. Wear more color and less black. I'm going to keep saying it. Nobody supports you like a social media friend that you've never met. As life changes, so will your circle of friends. You can work out until you are blue in the face, honey. But if you don't eat right, you're never going to lose the weight. And as always, I love you. I'm proud of you. You matter. Keep going. And follow me for more videos like this. Your appearance, your relationships, your education. If you want to go from insecure to confident, I highly recommend investing in these three areas. This is really what's going to help you become a pretty wealthy woman one day. Your appearance is always where I recommend starting just because it's the easiest to see change in a short amount of time so you can start going to the gym you can start going to workout classes so you feel better about your physical because i believe when you look good you feel better you can start improving your makeup you can start getting a skincare routine just some actionable steps to help you feel like your most beautiful self two you'll have that confidence then i want you to start investing in your relationships this is not only your dating life this is also your friendships having meaningful connections is really key to your happiness and i feel when you are happier you are more willing to thrive in all areas of your life you're more willing to pour into people you're not really keeping this hater energy because again you're happy and relationships are really essential to that the third one is your education we love an intelligent body we love someone who knows how to talk about diverse topics whether it's politics whether it's makeup whether it's fashion whether it's culture, whether it's traveling, the list goes on and on. Make sure that you are investing in your education. And this does not necessarily mean going to grad school. This could be listening to podcasts. This could be reading books. Let me know which area that you plan on focusing on. So I'm about to be turning 25 in less than a month. Ah, that's so old. You know how they say your early 20s or your 20s in general should be enjoyed? Well, here are some tips and tricks to enjoy your early 20s. I'm coming from somebody that enjoyed their early 20s. <laughs> wear whatever you wanna wear. Build your wardrobe up and wear whatever you wanna wear. If that dress shows your entire leg, your cleavage and a little bit of your butt, and that's what you wanna wear, wear it. Feel confident, be hot. Take care of your body. Now it's okay to have that cheeseburger, you know? It's okay to have that pizza because you're young, you could bounce back. But, you know, you want to still be, you know, shapely. You know, you feel me? You still want to look good in that little dress, if that makes sense. 24 will be the age that your body starts to form itself, you know? So, I understand that, you know, BBLs, you know, we're in that culture. But I don't feel like any girl that's 20, 18 through 23 should be getting their body done. Because by the time you turn 24, your hips are going to spread. 
your weight's gonna stick your live travel 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 get your passport and go literally everywhere if you don't have to have that baby don't have that baby i know i said it i said it but i mean it like i said what i said if you don't have to have the baby don't have the baby like i'm not saying you cannot have a ball if you have kids but i will say coming from somebody that doesn't have kids yet there's a certain level of free time me time that i get because i don't have kids take life seriously but not too seriously like set yourself up for success 100 percent every day but it's okay to bump your head it's okay to make mistakes it's okay to be out till 4 a.m knowing you got to be up at 8 you're young you'll bounce back i promise you make money and this is coming from somebody that has a man that takes care of every single thing that needs to be done it doesn't matter bills cars life beauty take care of it all but i make my own money because why wouldn't i be making my own money if if i solely relied on somebody else that i'm giving that person the power to starve me you feel what i'm saying like if that person decides one day no i don't, don't want to do that no more um mm, maybe not today what am i gonna do you know so I feel like as somebody who is in their, you know, in their rising, you should know how much money that you can make. You should know what you're good at. You should know what you could profit off of. Do you want to be nine to five girl? Do you want to be an entrepreneur? Do you want to just do hair and lashes real quick? Call it a day. Do you want to sell e uh, online products? You should be doing something. You really should. It's not masculine. It's not any of the things that we hear people saying. I promise it's smart is what it is. Just a quick story. Um, I was talking to um, a young girl that's about two years older than me last night. And she dates an extremely successful baseball player. And if we know the ranking of sports, of how much money them, got them boys be making, baseball up there. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, she's about to get married. She's technically set. But she has her own business. She's an entrepreneur. She has her own business that she loves, that she's passionate about, that she makes money off of, of as she should. Learn how to do your hair. Learn how to do your makeup. That's just basic, you know. Also, have a good skincare routine, too. Pamper yourself. Literally, get your, get your feet done. Get your nails done. Go. Don't let anyone stop you from doing anything that you want to do. Stay out of trouble. Get drunk. Learn the liquor that you like to drink and drink it a lot. Have fun. Go to the club and shake your butt. Bored? I'm bored should not be a part of your vocabulary at all. You should not be bored ever in your 20s. Period. Do everything you want to do. You shouldn't be a bored girl. Form a solid group of friends don't neglect your family family is important move out of your hometown i think you should be confident and borderline cocky you should be feeling yourself there's nothing wrong with you thinking you all that in the bag of chips you should think that pray thank god manifest and say affirming words also be open-minded to continuing to learn new things like let's just say you're a college graduate or let's just say you didn't go to college just say you're a high school graduate whatever it is life never stops until it stops you know what i'm saying so i feel like everybody should be reading books everybody should be um open to learn learning new recipes learning new tips and tricks learning new trades and build your build your profile up be well-rounded there's also that laugh all the time if anything in your life is bringing you too much stress getting on your nerve let it go it's okay life is gonna go on i promise and you'll be happier peace and prosperity should be your motto okay bye 
My number one piece of advice to women in their 20s is to not build your life around a man because what I have seen happen so often is that women will prioritize the men in their lives. They'll follow them for a job. They'll move to a different state for college. They will do things to prioritize their relationship. And in doing so, they sacrifice their own goals and dreams. And oftentimes what happens is they follow a man across the country and then they break up. And personally, this happened to me when I was in college. I decided to stay in Boston for college even though I kind of wanted to move out of state. I was really excited to move out of state but I didn't want to risk my relationship. And lo and behold, six months into me being in college, he broke up with me. And I learned a very hard lesson, which is that you can prioritize a man, but it doesn't mean he's going to prioritize you. It is really important to put yourself and your dreams first, not always, but often, right? Because so often women are taught growing up that it is important to prioritize finding a good man who's going to be a great husband, who you can have kids with because our biological clock is ticking. And so people are pressuring young women to find that man in college, find that man in your 20s, get married, make sure you start having babies by your 30s. And so it feels like we are racing the clock all the time. And so when your boyfriend of two years says, I'm moving across the country, want to come with me, you feel like you have to, you have to support him. But I urge you to ask yourself this. If I was the person moving across the country, would he follow me? If the answer is no, then that tells you a lot about your partner and the dynamics of your relationship. Advice for women under 25 from a woman over 25. Dry brushing and sugar scrubs can help reduce cellulite. Your face is a map to your body, so acne in certain areas can tell you about things that are probably going on in your body. If you get pimples around this area, probably your period. If you get pimples around this area, this is stress related, okay? Pimples over here, you need to eat better. Avocado oil is what you think coconut oil is. Tension is stored in the body, specifically the hips and the legs, which is why it's really, really important to stretch, but twerking helps too. If you're unsure about it, Take it as a no, okay? That applies to a lot of things. Asking more than once is too close to begging. You don't need an excuse to treat yourself. Hugging people and touching skin literally improves your mental health. Gold jewelry catches the sun and silver jewelry catches the moon. Invest in your appearance. Get the skincare, go to the gym, go to the hairstylist. It'll pay off in the long run. Raspberry leaf tea will get rid of your period cramps. Like, get rid of them even if you have endometriosis. Never, never, never lower your standards for a relationship, okay? Find somebody that meets them. And stop shaming women for not wanting kids, okay? Her uterus is her business. If you have any other tidbits for these young 20-somethings, by all means, ditch this video. Here are some more things that I wish that I took seriously sooner. Number one, the 48-hour rule. If you're upset with someone, maybe they said something that didn't sit right or you got into a disagreement, whatever it is, you have 48 hours to address it or you get over it. I started practicing this in college and it really helped me learn how to address conflict and not let my feelings and emotions sit in a box and then later down the road, I'm still mad about something that happened eight weeks ago. Number two, the transition from teenager to adult happens very quickly. Like there's really no intermission and there's definitely not a snack break. Like you literally wake up and you're just like, boom. An adult. And that leads me to my next point that you don't need to have everything figured out right now. I mentioned this in part two, but I'm gonna mention it again because I really need y'all to hear me. You can make as many plans as you want and just like that, your plans will change. So you don't need to know right now what company you're gonna work for in the future and what age you're gonna get married and what time your kids are gonna be born. Like, just let life lead you. And if my life went exactly how it was planned, I would be engaged and in medical school right now, so. Life had different plans for me, and if you wanna hear more about that, let me know. Number four, intentionally practice selfishness. The more time that you spend respecting your own needs, the more respect others will have for you. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, you cannot fill anyone's cup if yours is empty. 20 is for the pursuit of a tomorrow that is better than today. 20 is for options. 20 is for passion and uh, knowledge and enjoyment. It is not for continuous compromise. It is not a time to say, this is the guy that I gotta make it with because this is the guy that I have and no matter what compromises, no matter what I don't like, no matter what he does, I have to put up with it because he's my man. 20 is for firing dudes when they don't act right. 20 is for figuring out what you like in certain men. 20 is for finding out what different kind of men are out there and which ones you want to keep and which ones you want to discard. It's not for picking up other people's clothes. It's not for, for, for sticking it out when you're not enjoying it anymore. 20 is opportunity 
to move onward, upward, forward. Get a large life so even if a dude doesn't end up in it, you still enjoy it. 20 is for, for, for creating all of that potential and not just compromising your way into the corner of a closet somewhere wondering what the heck I have. I know y'all like to lie to yourself on this app, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you the truth, especially as a woman of color. I do not care how many businesses you start or how much money you make. If you do not have degrees, you will never be fully respected in this country. You will never gain access to certain rooms. And there's a lot of people around here saying, oh, education, not important, not important. It is. It is. Because guess what? When you have those degrees, people are naturally going to be inclined, are naturally going to have biases towards you, in favor of you, thinking that you are going to say something smart and important. You could be saying some dumb shit, some dumb shit, but because you got a JD, because you got an MBA, because you got a PhD, because you got a whatever, they're going to think that what you're saying is gospel. This message is for all my girlies, specifically women of color, specifically, specifically black women. If you find yourself practicing humility and that directly correlates to making yourself smaller in a room, cut that shit out. That's what we're not going to do because you're over here practicing humility, but you're not celebrating yourself the way that you should. And it's got other people messed up in the head thinking you're not who you actually are. You're belittling yourself all in the name of humility. That is not what humility means, baby. It does not mean taking a blessed room. It does not mean that you are less proud and loud about who you are. Do not make yourself smaller and more digestible for other people all in the name of humility. 31 hard to hear things that would have revolutionized my 20s in honor of my 31st birthday. Number one, your allergy to rejection is holding you back. Number two, people are not thinking about you, good or bad, as much as you think they are. Allow that to set you free. Number three, if they never talk to you unless you initiate it, they don't like you. Number four, if they pretend not to know you when they're with other people, they don't like you. Number five, if they're consistently too busy to speak to you, they don't like you. Number six, you deserve to spend your time with people who like you. Number Number seven, if they care about you, being honest about how you feel won't scare them away. Number eight, if they don't care about you, suppressing your feelings won't make them stay. Number nine, trying to be something you're not will only highlight the parts of yourself you're trying to hide. Number 10, cool looks a million different ways, but it's mutually exclusive with authenticity. Number 11, you know what's cooler than being cool? Being nice. Number 12, your biggest regrets will be the times you mistreated people. Number 13, people includes yourself. Number 14, you will regret the things you didn't try to do so much more than the things you tried to do and failed. Number 15, stop watching what I eat in a day videos. Number 16, delete the calorie tracking app. Number 17, life is way too short to spend it waiting for the next time you'll allow yourself to eat. Number 18, your body will eventually force you to slow down, so choose to while you still have a choice. Number 19, there's a difference between having goals and being consumed by everything you're not. Number 20, your discipline doesn't have to be a weapon you use against yourself. It can be a tool you use to love yourself. Number 21, your social anxiety manifests as you being mean sometimes, and that is something Something you can work on. Number 22. Notice things that people who make you feel good when you talk to them do and start doing those things when you talk to other people. Number 23. Focus less on being original and more on being yourself. Number 24. Maturity isn't about how you dress or how expensive your taste is. It's about your communication and conflict navigation skills. Number 25. But the best communication in the world won't make someone hear you if they're committed to misunderstanding you. Number 26, you will not stop harboring resentment until you learn the difference between things you can get over without a conversation and things you can't. Number 27, being happy is the only real revenge. Number 28, it's okay to just admit you're intimidated by someone. You don't have to make up things not to like about them. Number 29, I know they're inconvenient. I know you're busy, but get the dog anyway. Number 30, sometimes you have to lose people so you can come back to them in a healthier way. Number 31, be present is probably the most trite advice on the planet and it's also the only thing that matters. You will never be 20 again. You will never be 25 again. You will never be 31 again. You will never get this day of your life back once it's gone. Please live it. Okay, I'm 29 and here are five things I wish I did earlier in my 20s. Starting off strong, the very first thing I wish I did was drink less alcohol. I spent so much of my youth wasting time by being so wasted. And by no means am I saying to not drink alcohol, it's your life, so do you, obviously. But I think it's important to reflect on your relationship with alcohol. If you're drinking every night of the week, if you're binge drinking, if you're blacking out all the time, or if you're just abusing substances in general, then there's probably something going on internally that you need to address. And you're using alcohol and substances as a coping mechanism 
mechanism to avoid what's going on internally. But the sooner that you turn inwards and heal whatever is going on internally, the better off you're gonna be and the better your life is gonna be. The second thing I wish I did was be more mindful about sun exposure. I used to lay out with the intention to get absolutely fried because I just wanted to be tan. And now I just have sunspots all over my body. So I definitely regret that one. So be mindful of sun exposure and take care of your skin health because your future self is going to thank you. The third thing I wish I did, and this is a big one, I wish I learned to love myself sooner. I spent so many fucking years never thinking I was good enough, hating myself, judging myself, criticizing myself, never accepting myself never feeling I was pretty enough and it led to a lot of anger anger that I projected out onto every relationship that I had whether it was romantic or platonic and on top of all the anger I also experienced so much depression anxiety guilt shame etc and I only wish that I nurtured the relationship I had with myself sooner because ultimately the only fucking relationship that matters in life is the relationship you have with yourself the fourth thing I wish I did earlier in my 20s and just earlier in life was learn to trust my gut I spent way too much fucking time following other people rather than following my own interests intuition and I ended up going down the wrong paths with the wrong people doing the wrong things in the wrong jobs etc and it just led to a lot of feelings of unhappiness and I told myself time after time that I wasn't intuitive when in reality I'm actually very fucking intuitive I just wasn't listening to my intuition or trusting my gut because of this fear of change I was too busy clinging on to the things that I was familiar with and the things that I had known rather than take the leap out into the unknown and trust myself and trust my intuition and trust in divine guidance and the fifth and final thing that I wish I did earlier in my 20s was to stop using perfectionism as a mask for my insecurities. Perfectionism just isn't real. It's a mask that we put over our insecurities. It's just our ego trying to protect us from being judged, criticized, rejected, etc. And I spent way too many years listening to that voice inside my head telling me I wasn't good enough and that my work wasn't good enough when I should have been listening to the voice inside my head that was empowering me and telling me I am good enough exactly as I am and my work is good enough and that I am worthy. And so are you, exactly as you are. 15 more hard to hear things that would have revolutionized my 20s. Number one, you can have what you want, but not until you want it enough to say you want it with your whole chest. Number two, you know when they don't like you. You just don't want to believe it's true. Number three, if you have to run into them at a bar for them to remember you exist, they don't like you. Number four, them watching your Instagram story right after you post it doesn't mean they like you, it means they're on their phone a lot. Number five, they're not cringe. You just care too much what people think to allow yourself to do what they're doing. Number six, using the F word as verbal filler in between every word doesn't make you sound hardcore. It makes you sound 16. Number seven, blacking out is nowhere near as casual as you think it is. Number eight, you're not needy. It would just be more convenient for them if you didn't have needs. Number nine, it is not a flex to not have needs. Number 10, you will never be a convenient enough option for someone who doesn't want to pick you. Number 11, you deserve princess treatment, but they deserve a self-aware princess who knows that sometimes the princess is the villain. Number 12, rotting can be an act of self-care, but usually it's an act of avoidance. Number 13, not wanting to be tempted by food is not a good reason to stay home. Number 14, acne is also not a good reason to stay home. Number 15, the most serious, longest term relationship you will ever be in is the one you're in with yourself. So focus on that one. If you're a girly over 25, my 25th birthday. When I turned 25, I went through a little bit of like a quarter life crisis. And it's not until now that I am about to turn 28 that I look back and I'm like, yeah, no duh, you experienced that at 25. Because as a woman, there is so much messaging that tells us that 25 is our expiration date. Like we're told that everything past 25, it's like, it's all downhill from here. Your time has run out. So you get to 25 and you start taking inventory. You start looking at your life and you start seeing that, oh, I don't have so many things figured out and I still don't have a partner. I still don't know who I am. I still don't know what I want to do with my career. And you feel that pressure because you feel like you've reached time. And what I find particularly sinister about living in a world that tells women that 25 is our expiration date is that our frontal lobe hasn't fully kicked in <laughs> and it does lead a lot of women to make lifelong decisions in their early 20s because they feel like they are running out of time lifelong decisions they are making when they are the most insecure the most naive 
the moments that they know themselves the least because your 20s are literally the time that you learn so much about yourself so it's a moment that you are the least equipped to make these lifelong decisions but a lot of women still end up making it because of this pressure so some of the things that helped me whenever i am experiencing this pressure is to first of all recognize that that voice that i am hearing that is pressuring me to have my life figured out by 25 that voice does not come from me it comes from the patriarchal world that i live in that is trying day and night trying to convince me that i am running out of time so that i make stupid decisions and so that i feel like my life is over so now i have to do with what i got that allows me to detach from that pressure because I recognize that the pressure that I am experiencing, that is exactly what the world wants me to feel so that I start making decisions, not in my best interest, but in the interest of the patriarchy. <laughs> now, the second thing that has helped me is to look for role models in women of all ages, whether that is the women that I know in real life or women that I follow online. I look for women that are doing things that I am impressed by women that have certain parts of themselves figured out that I hope to one day be like women that I find brilliant and funny and beautiful and capable and strong and intelligent and brave that I get to look at and I get to be inspired by who just so happen to be of a wide range of ages because when you start seeing examples of women that are killing it and they are of all ages, that is you're <laughs> reprogramming your mind into realizing that there is life beyond 25 and there is a whole lot of slay after your early 20s. And I would personally argue that there is so much more slay further down in life than we have right now because right now yeah you're cute your booty is plump or whatever but you're insecure you're insecure and you know what the older women don't have insecurities so yeah anyways i hope this helps so the other day on twitter there was a tweet that said if you are between the age of 30 and 40 what advice would you have for somebody who is between 19 and 29 and my advice to anybody, and I tell this to all the girls in the team, and it sounds very crass and shallow, but my advice is to just make money. Like, just make money. Because if your focus is on, I need to make money, you are going to show up as the best version of yourself wherever you go. You are going to show up professionally in everything you do. The way you present yourself is going to be at its peak the way you show up to everything whether it's deliverables at work whether it's how you show up in meetings whether it's how you prepare for meetings you are going to be the best you're going to be the best and that's why i always say to people or young women is just make money because the goal that's the goal but how you achieve that goal is really going to set you apart from other people and in your 30s you're going to reap the rewards of that and your career trajectory is just going to be so high because in your 20s you just focused on that goal of just making money and it sounds shallow but just make money these are the top five worst mistakes you can make in your 20s. Number one, not learning the basics of personal finance. You need to learn how to save your money, you need to learn how to invest your money, and you need to learn how to manage your money. Number two, spending too much time in toxic relationships. You are worthy of healthy relationships. Number three, not taking care of yourself. Take care of your emotional health, take care of your physical health, go to the gym, start a spin class, maybe even try therapy. Number four, not taking risks because of fear of failure or fear of judgment. In your 20s, go on on that date go on that vacation apply for that dream job be the one to tell yourself no number five comparing yourself to others you cannot compare your day one to someone's year 10. some people are born with more privileges in comparison to others which allows them to achieve success at an accelerated rate so please do not compare your journey to others three things i wish i knew in my 20s or i would tell my 20 year old self thing number one is you can never get the innocence of youth back stop wishing that you had the birkin right now or that you knew exactly what to say or you were the most sophisticated person on the planet it's never going to be as endearing and as beautiful as it is now for you to be youthful and not sure 
you can't be 50 and not sure it's just not becoming it's like being an old infant there's nothing uglier as jordan peterson said so enjoy it now you might not have the best blowout you might not have the best clothes but there is nothing later that you can do to have that youth it is essentially so beautiful to see somebody who's growing up and discovering themselves and though you don't see it now and you feel awkward and you're wearing the same jeans for the fifth day in a row enjoy that period of your life because when you're 40 50 60 you can't replicate that again don't let them tell you this is point number two that you've got to be extremely successful in your late teens and 20s and you can put off having children potentially if you want them until later on in life there is a small period of time biologically where that is accessible to you and when they try and whip you into a career you're not even sure you want when you're 18 years old leaving college and you haven't decided you don't need to if you want to get married and have kids do if you want to have a career do if you want to work in a library because you love books do because you can be 35 years old after you finish not being sure or after you finished having your children and then you can have a career look up how many people have created incredible careers business women after 35 if you're going to live 90 years which i hope you do because you're healthy and you're amazing then that's 50 years of a career to build something don't let people whip you into a frenzy to try and outperform everyone and do everything in your youth lastly it's okay to say you don't know you don't have to pretend to be sophisticated or mature it's okay to say you don't know in fact it's endearing and beautiful and honest to say i don't know what i want to do i'm not sure what i want to do i i don't i'm not sure about this career and work in many different places and decide what you want to do the guy that you're with as painful as it seems right now is probably not the guy you will be with very rare it happens but he probably won't be take a stoicism approach take a step back from life know that it has its ebbs and flows and as painful as it feels now all your emotions enjoy them because they won't be that deep when you're older because you'll just build up more experiences your feelings won't be as deep as they are now so as ironic as that is enjoy them enjoy it when you listen to music and it just sends you enjoy that advice for women under 25 from a woman that is over 25 you should not feel guilty about eating food that you enjoy if you have dark underarms or a dark bikini area and it's bothering you lemon juice plus turmeric mixed together into a paste can lighten those areas for you naturally do not borrow grief from the future. If you suffer from hyperpigmentation, retinols can help with that, but if you want to use something a little bit more natural, you can use licorice root or aloe vera. If you deal with chronically swollen ankles, you need to lower your sodium intake and drink more water. If you have hip dips and you'd like to fix them, correcting your posture can help with that. It's very, very important for you to be getting tested for STDs and STIs regularly, even if you're in a relationship. Red light therapy can stimulate hair growth, Hemp oil can be a natural remedy for eczema. You are entitled to your beliefs, but you are not entitled to push them onto other people. Poor dental hygiene can literally lead to memory loss, so please take care of your teeth. Okra water can help with the uh, water park, but it can also increase your fertility, so be careful. If you're breastfeeding, fenugreek can help you produce more milk. You need to be making annual trips to your coochie doctor, okay? Go get one. If you have any other tips for these young 20-somethings, by all means, stitch this video. My advice to you would be to book the ticket, buy the camera, sign up for the class. A little over a year ago, I read a book called The Top Five Regrets of Dying, and it is written by a woman who worked in palliative care. So she took care of people in their last few months of living, and she would just talk to them during the last few days of their lives. And the two most popular regrets that she had learned about when she was working palliative care were, I wish I had the courage to live a life that was true to myself and not what others expected of me. And I wish I hadn't worked so hard. So she talks about how people took the traditional path, whatever their family told them essentially of go here, get this job, do this for the rest of your life, yada, yada. And then because they're so focused on maintaining that, they tell themselves like, oh, I'll have fun when you know I retire. And then they never actually retire. They never actually get to have the fun that they want. I read this book and I took this advice very literally because 
because at the time I was working as a biomedical engineer and I was making content for you guys about that. So what everyone told me was a stable career. It's what I was programmed to believe was a great career path. But everything in me just wanted to travel and that's the only thing I could think about every single day when I was going into lab. So I left my job and I now live in LA and I get to travel for a living. Going after a life that is true to you takes uh, so much courage, but it all starts with very simple acts like signing up for the class, buying the ticket, turning on the camera. It's very, very simple. Come here, come here, I need to tell you something. I've said this before, I'm gonna say to this again. You cannot get a soft life if you are not willing to be a soft girl. That whole ra -ta -ta -ta. As much as I wanna do it, you cannot be doing that with men. And if your response is, well, he takes me out of character, why are you with somebody who takes you out of character? You cannot be a lady of leisure with the same man who's got you going ra -ta 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 -ta. No. Stop. Find you a man who makes you want to talk like this. Because it's 6 p.m. and your housekeeper just left and you just ordered dinner and you might get a massage later on. This is advice for my girlies going into their 20s or if you're still in your early 20s. These are things I think you need to know. Please keep your friend circle small. Stay private. Stop oversharing and telling people that you wouldn't trust with your life, your personal business, because it will come back to haunt you. Stop only eating chicken fingers, please. Okay, invest in traveling. You should open yourself to other cultures, different languages, foods, because you never know who you're going to meet, what experience you'll have. Also, don't wait on people to do these things. I just recently started solo traveling, and I have not ever felt so content and at peace with myself. If you don't do anything else, wear your sunscreen every day. This is not up for debate. Normalize saying no, whether this be to men, to friends, to your job. I don't care if people think I'm a bitch because I don't do anything that I don't want to do. And the times that I have, people took advantage of my kindness and I regretted it. When dating, stay just as busy as the guy you talk to and prioritize your own goals over them because they sure will. Here's 25 things I've learned in my 20s. Do the hard things first. Save your money. You don't need the latest thing, the hottest trend, the newest bag. It is not that serious. Trust your intuition. It's always right. Get out of bed. Even if you have nothing planned, I promise you will feel a lot better when you actually get up and do something. Ooh, I love this one. Um, there's food at home, okay? I know a lot of the times we feel like we need to eat out, we need a sweet treat. Cut it out, okay? Same thing with saving money. You will lose all your money with food. Your mom is always right. I know growing up, I never really believed my mom. It was always like, girl, what are you talking about? Now, it's crazy how so many things just comes to light. Like, my mom was really right about a lot. Life is too short not to go after what you want. You're not asking for the impossible. You're just asking the wrong person. Being an influencer, it's not stupid. Don't be afraid to fail. Not everyone has your best interest at heart. This is a big one that I'm still learning, but it's stop oversharing. A lot of the times we really fumble our blessings because we tell the wrong person. And again, they might not have your best interest at heart. Life is not a race. I promise you'll be okay. So you know a lot of the times we say, oh, like, when it will be my turn? It will be your turn, okay? Just give it some time. But in the meantime, pour all that energy into yourself and into making yourself the best version of you, okay? Worry about today, not tomorrow. This one still hurts, okay? But someone you knew like five plus years ago, they just might not be in your life. It's okay to outgrow people. You'll be okay. This is a big one learn to love your own company wear all your clothes before buying more your mental health comes before a job eating healthy actually matters walk away the first time a man disrespects you apply for that job even if you're unqualified literally nobody cares as much as you think wear those bold colors wear that different hairstyle Step outside the box. Just be your own person and find yourself. I promise nobody cares. People show you who they are the first time. So listen carefully. And last but not least, show gratitude even when everything in your life is falling apart. 
One of the greatest DMs that I got asking me, what advice would I give to my 26 year old self? I honestly would tell her, stop rushing to get married, stop rushing to settle down, stop rushing for the future, stop rushing for kids, stop rushing to be at the end. I would say, have more fun, travel, make your own money, learn how to take care of yourself first before settling down, before having kids. Know who you are, know what you like, experience life, experience people, travel. Money best spent is traveling. I'd say have as much fun with your girlfriends as you possibly can. Stop worrying about everything. You have time, enjoy it, enjoy each day. And remember that at the end, a little piece of advice from a 51 year old to her 26 year old self, life is long. Learn how to be content with what you have and work every single day at being the best version of yourself and finding you're happy. That the greatest form of success will be looking in the mirror and actually liking the person and the life you're living. Advice for women under 25 from a woman that is over 25. Always have your own money. I don't care if you just got asked on a date. I don't care if your partner says they'll take care of everything. You need to always have your own money as a backup plan because you never know. Rubbing olive oil on your boobs helps them stay perky. Cocoa butter can reduce stretch marks and acne scars. Using organic cotton tampons or pads can shorten your period and also make it a lot less uncomfortable. No one is going to understand you the way another woman will. You should be adding liquid chlorophyll to your water. Trust me, stay away from women that center their lives around men. They are extremely dangerous. If you have any other tidbits for these young 20 somethings, by all means, stitch this video. Advice for women under 25 from a woman that is over 25. You cannot be friends with a woman that wants to be you. Start implementing lymphatic massages as often as you can, okay? Gut health is very important. Find whatever color makes you happiest and surround yourself with as much of it as possible. Go where you are loved and bring love wherever you go. Consuming honey from local bees can help reduce your allergy symptoms for the season. Sucking in your stomach can damage your pelvic floor. Relax. Hyperindependence is a trauma response, okay? It's okay to need help. When you're on your period, keeping your feet warm can help ease a lot of discomfort. Warm feet, warm womb. Don't be scared to shoot your friendship shot. Community is important. Learning how to do face yoga can help prevent fine lines and wrinkles. Learn now that everything is a lesson. Literally everything. <laughs> if you have PCOS, spearmint tea can help ease a lot of discomfort that comes with that. The sooner that you learn that people are experiences and not possessions, your life will get a lot easier. If you have any other tidbits for these young 20-somethings, then by all means, stitch this video. Here are three of the biggest lessons I learned in my 20s, friendship edition. The girl who's willing to talk shit about her best friends to you is saying much worse things about you. The girl who suddenly becomes extra giggly and bubbly and flirty around the guy that she knows you like is a snake. The girl who can be friends with everybody and can see all sides of an obviously messed up story has loyalties to nobody but herself. Tips to be classically, timelessly feminine as told by my mom. Number one, when I was younger, my mom always emphasized posture. She would lovingly tap me in my lower back whenever I started to slouch and I would draw my shoulders back. And to this day, one of my most common compliments from strangers is you have a great walk. Never leave the house without earrings. My mom always says that if you wear earrings, no matter what you have on, everyone will assume you showered even if you don't put makeup on. So I like a cute earring that doesn't do too much. I love something that looks intentional but has the same comfort and ease as a stud. These are by Majuri and it's just kind of like a wrap around barely there hoop. Love it, I have it in gold, silver, gorgeous choice. Mom always said makeup is meant to enhance, not overpower, and so I've always gone for makeup looks that really enhance my natural beauty and stayed with colors that tend to be more neutral. The vision board for my makeup is all 90s, like superstars. I love the very neutral vibe, and so that's what I always tend to go towards and your signature look is so important. My mom always emphasized this idea of having a trademark as a woman, so a signature scent, a signature nail, a signature makeup look, signature hair, signature sort of silhouette in terms of your fashion choices. And that doesn't mean you have to box yourself in and never try anything new, but I love the idea of having a go-to signature vibe that I know is gonna slay every single time. Beauty is a tool and it has the power to change your life. That's because beauty provides the same choice and opportunities as money. You can attract better career opportunities, better spouses and partners, all because of how much you pour into yourself. Because when people see that you pour into yourself, they are inclined to come pour into you. People want to help those who help themselves. That's essentially what it is. 
Unfortunately, this society and large portions of the world are still ran by vanity. The best is usually dispersed to the people who look the best or the people who can contribute the most. If you can't contribute much of anything, meaning if you don't have a lot of money, if you don't have a lot of resources, your appearance can get you into places that large sums of money would usually get other people. If you are someone who is not privileged in the financial sense, I would approach beauty from a business perspective. Do not get caught up in vanity because that is how you get exploited, that's how you get used, and that's how you put yourself in dangerous situations. But once you actually understand how lucrative beauty is, you'll begin to incorporate it into your life naturally. It won't feel so much like a chore, but more like an opportunity to create a better situation for yourself, for your family. I'm about to drop some wisdom on you, so listen up. I'm 34 years old, I've been through a lot of shit in my life, and these are things, part one, I wish I knew in my 20s. There's gonna be a little bit of everything in this video, let's do it. If you have doubts, you have them for a reason, don't ignore your gut instinct on those things. If you have doubts about someone, they don't go away. They don't just sort of go away, you can't really sweep them under the rug, like they typically amplify and get worse, and you have them for a reason, so listen. Talk to yourself like you would talk to your very best friend, like your favorite person when you come out in an outfit or you come out with your makeup done, you're ready to go somewhere, like self-talk like that. People make time for the people they wanna make time for. If he's constantly making excuses about how he can't hang out, he's always so busy, he ain't it. Learning to say no to things is just as important, if not more important, honestly, than saying yes. Forgiving people isn't typically for them, it's for you. Forgiving them allows you to let go of that negative energy, which can be super toxic to you, and like harboring that and holding on to it is the worst, so let it go, they're not worth it. Like this video and follow me if you want a part two of things I wish I knew in my 20s. Do not mess up your early 20s. Here are some tips that are extremely crucial for you to follow in your early 20s. Don't get caught up in trying to grow up too fast. There is no need for you to be dressing like you're 10 years older. There is no need for you to be doing things that grown, grown people do. Actually enjoy that time. Figure out your personal style and what actually fits you. Date, but still date with intention. Don't just date anybody just for the sake of dating. And there's no need to give your body to a bunch of people either. That doesn't end up benefiting you in the end. You can still learn what it is that you want and don't want in a man just by simply observing the people around you. Don't be friends with people who don't genuinely support you. If you have friends that you feel like you can't share good news or important information with them, then those aren't your friends. Surround yourself with people who genuinely care about your well-being and genuinely support your goals and aspirations. Here's some big sister advice for you. Boundaries don't prevent things from happening. They actually make the things that were going to happen anyway happen faster. Know the difference between a boundary and a request. A boundary is something that you do. A request is something you are asking someone else to do. Don't talk to me that way is a request. If you continue talking to me that way, I'm going to leave is a boundary. You can't make someone do something, but you can control how you react when they do something you don't like. It has to be about your health. It can't just be about your appearance. If it's about your appearance, it's coming from a place of lack. And if it's about your health, it's coming from a place of love. If you know, you know. You can't learn people's lessons for them they have to do it themselves. In order to learn, they have to experience the pain on their own. Sometimes your friend who is obsessing over a guy is feeling a pain that she does not want to feel and so she is allowing this thing to distract her. Instead of shaming her for obsessing over him, you need to let her run headfirst into the wall enough times until she's exhausted and on the ground bleeding. There's no shortcut to this, unfortunately. Unless it's an abusive situation and she's in danger, you gotta let her let it run its course. It's hard to see her in pain, but she will come out the other end stronger. Honesty without compassion is cruelty. People who love being brutally honest, their favorite part of that is the brutality. Don't let them get away with it. If I were to be in my 20s again, what advice would I give myself? Prepare yourself for later in life. Decide what you want to do, study or get experience in it so you can take good care of yourself and you won't necessarily have to rely on somebody else. But I think you should have a lot of fun. This is the time in life that you need to have a lot of fun. When you get older, you need to have a lot of fun too. But don't save it all until you're older because if you don't know what fun is like at 22 you're not even going to know what fun is like at 32 or 42. Get a good mixture of responsibility but a lot of fun. Don't 
rush your life along. You have so many things, exciting things that you could do and people you could do it with. You have plenty of time for marriage. And even if you did decide that you loved this guy and he loved you and you wanted to get married in your late 20s, don't rush children. You have plenty of time to do all these things together. You could see the world together. You could go for a year traveling around from country to country and see the world. As long as you set your patterns so that you can come back and take care of yourself and and you have the means to do that because you've educated yourself in whatever field it is you want to be in. And truth is, I am young because I still feel young. If you feel young and you act young and you don't think you're an old person, you stay young longer. Yeah. So you know how we do it over here. I'm back to give my take on this video. And I'm back to like state the lessons that really stuck with me from this video. So one of them that really, really stuck with me is that don't settle in any aspect of your life. Women, we are used to being told don't settle in a relationship. Like when someone says don't settle, the immediate thing that gets into your mind is don't settle in a relationship. But today I learned that don't settle in any aspect of your life, be it a job, be it some something that's not like fulfilling you don't settle in it you're still young especially if you're 20 you're not yet 30 or you're not yet 35 you're still young like you can switch it up you can switch it up and really identify what you really love so don't settle in any aspect of your life some of you wake up and do jobs that just are not fulfilling them like you feel miserable you feel drained you don't feel happy like you're still in your 20s you can just switch it up and like really identify what you really love another thing is that it's it will never be the right time to do anything and it all starts from somewhere it all starts with you applying for that job it all starts with you booking a call it all starts with you sh switching up the camera it all starts with you holding that microphone it all starts with you like going for your first race or whatever be applying your first makeup on a video like it all starts from somewhere it has to start from somewhere so it's never the right time to do anything it will never be so once you decide to do something don't po procrastinate don't postpone it just get up and do it and have all the confidence you need to do it and another thing that i want to add on that don't let people project their insecurities on you most people once you share your dreams to them they'll be like oh are you sure about that oh you cannot do it oh i don't think that's a good idea for a person like you oh even so and so tried and it didn't work even me myself have tried and it has never worked so it will never work for you don't please don't listen to that nonsense people like projecting their own insecurities their own failures their own fears to you they don't want to see you doing what they couldn't have the balls to do so don't don't please don't listen to people just do you like block all the noise and don't share your dreams prematurely that's another thing i want to add that's my own don't share your dreams prematurely they might be falling on the wrong ears or even the wrong eyes don't share your dreams prematurely that like once your dreams work out you won't even need to announce it they'll see it for themselves so please don't announce them prematurely just keep doing you and in your 20s is when you need to focus all your energy on you just please focus all your energy on you as an older woman i'm advising you now I wish I was told this when I was 20 or 21. I will never have made the mistakes I've made in life. They've taught me so much and they've led me to this point. But please, I'd do it another way. Please. Like Shara Seven said, focus all your energy. You don't get pregnant in your 20s. Please don't. Don't get married unless it's a millionaire. Don't. Focus all your energy in building you, building your brand. Even Beyonce says, be someone before you can become someone's wife. But most of us, me included, we rushed into relationships. We've not even finished school. We have nothing to ourselves. We don't even have a brain. <laughs> look, at, look at where we are now. Huh? But anyway, it has worked out. But it doesn't for most people. It doesn't for most people. Some people even end up as a statistic. Like I was saying in my previous videos, I think relationships are more detrimental to women. They're very detrimental to women. Especially when you get into a relationship with the wrong man, like that relationship will, will be very detrimental to you as a woman. Especially in your 20s. Like your 20s are valuable. Stop spending your 20s on this, like men who are adding no value, please. 
Like, get it from me. Don't waste your time with these men who are... Like, in five years down the line, this man even won't remember who you are. Don't. Please invest all that energy on you. Don't even invest it on a child. Invest it on you. Don't get pregnant in your 20s. Until you're, like, sure with, it, with what kind of man you have. Don't. Don't. Don't do that mistake. Don't. But if you already have, it's not, it's not the end of the world. Just make it your last. You can always rise up as long as you have the right mentality. And that's what I keep saying. As long as your mind is on point, you can always come out on, of any situation you'll be faced with. You'll always come out as long as your mind is on point. That's the most important thing in this life. Your mind should always be on point. Even if you lost all your money, as long as your mind is on point, you'll regain that money. But once you have the wrong mentality, even if you have a lot of money, you lose it all. You lose your relationship, your connections, you lose it all. Have the right mentality. Another thing, don't take life too seriously. Trust me, things get better with age. Like the, the more you get to like 26, 27, 28. But don't sit there assuming they'll get better with age ju by just sitting. No, you have to work towards them getting better. You have to like put in the effort. You have to like, especially working on your mentality. That's the, that's the thing I'll advise most of you to do. Work on your mental if your, if your mentality is on point, if your mental is healthy, you are not depressed, you get into this kind of creative energy, you can create, you can nurture friendships, you can nurture relationships, you can show up as your best self because your mental is healthy. People really underestimate the power of having peace of mind. Once you have peace of mind, you have power. You can do anything. Anything you can do, anything, but once you like you're troubled, you don't have peace of mind, you have these people stressing you in your circle, people who don't want the best for you, people who are clipping your wings on the background, like you'll never move forward. And that's why I'm telling you invest all your energy on yourself and don't like take relationships in your 20s too seriously. Like that man that you're with right now, you won't be with him. No, it will go nowhere, please. It will go nowhere. Unless you, like, okay, I'm not saying this is, uh, this is for all situations, but most of them, they go nowhere. So don't take that man too seriously. Please, take yourself that seriously. Don't take a man too seriously. Invest all that energy on yourself. You'll thank me later. Anyway, another thing I really learned from this video is the 48-hour rule. You have 48 hours to address something or to get over it. I never knew of that before, but now I learned it. That is actually so good because in 48 hours, even if you were to address it, you won't address it with the same level of anger you had at the beginning. So you'll be aware of what you're saying. And if you choose not to address it, then silence is golden. You'll like remain in your silence, leave them confused. Intentionally practice selfishness. That's another thing. As a woman, you really have to be selfish to just protect yourself. If you're generous as a woman, it will always cost you. It will always leave you miserable because people will take, take, take from you, take from you, take from you. No, you have to be intentionally, very intentional about your selfishness. You're not even kidding. You're not even smiling. You're not even joking. Because people have a habit of taking from you. And men have a habit of taking from good women. So you have to be very selfish. Don't let anyone take your money. Don't let anyone waste your time. Time is very valuable, especially in your 20s. Time is very valuable. And something else I've learned from this video is that you should always be open to learn. Don't be unteachable. Don't be the type of people who know everything. They cannot be taught. You cannot spill some knowledge on them. Them, they know everything. They are never told. Please. If you're that kind of a woman with that kind of a mentality, you'll go nowhere. You'll, go, you'll hit the wall before you actually hit the wall because of, of your mentality. You have to be teachable. You see, and some, peop and some people can only be taught with people who are higher than them. That's something else I need you to change. Let me tell you, something, someone below you, even a child, can teach you something. Be open to learn. You can learn something from e everyone. So don't be hostile, like just be quiet and listen. You can actually learn very many things from different people. Even the, the people who sell at the grocery store, you have something to learn from them. They can actually teach you something that you don't know. You don't know everything and every day you wake up is a learning day. You have something to learn on that day. And work on your brain. Work on your brain. Work on your education. I love the lady who said that work on your education. It doesn't have to be like a degree or a master's or whatever, but... 
even listening to such videos is working on your education because now you're becoming aware of many things that you are not aware of myself i wish such videos were available when i was in my early 20s i wish they were available some of us will not have made have made the mistakes we've made i wish such content was available but you know you have a golden chance this content is available to you everywhere people have started opening up women are talking the veil has been lifted everyone can see what it's what life really is everyone can see how much society has romanticized relationships everyone can see what people are really like like you can learn something so please hear this advice listen to it listen to it don't wait for your experience to teach you listen to this don't wait for your experience to to be your best teacher because it will really be your best teacher if you let it right and something else i can really insist on is learn how to do things for yourself for example learn how to do your hair for yourself learn how to make your nails learn how to do your makeup myself i know how to do my hair i know how to do braids on me i also know how to do nails on my own for the longest time i've always been doing my nails but what i'm i'm still stuck on is doing makeup like i feel like it's really hard <laughs> I've never been such a person to apply makeup, but I don't have anything against those those who do. I actually admire people who can really do their makeup well. I really admire them, especially they they like eyelashes. Oh my god! And like blending in like contours, what what? I don't know. Hey, <laughs> my god! I really admire such people because I'm really struggling in the makeup department. But anyway, it's a learning journey. I'll be there soon. As at least I'm not where I used to be last year. At least I've upped my game a little bit. But learn how to do these things for yourself. There are some times where you'll be broke. You won't have the money to like outsource these services. So what do you do? You don't remain like looking all roughed up. No, you actually get down to business and do your nails, do your hair. Even if it takes three days, just do them. And as you do those things. It's important to learn how to take care of yourself like all of you from your mental your physical your anything learn how to take care of you and learn how to protect yourself from people because people are very evil i don't know the world we live in i don't even understand how people are still bringing children to this world this world is evil like learn how to take care of all of you and something i've really something else i really got from this video is that learn how to live in the present because you'll never get your youth back i've listened to like there's a video i'm working on about like life advice from like old women really old women we are talking about 60 to like 90 and the thing that they kept repeating was that live in the moment live in the present because that's the only time that matters live in the present like and you, if you find yourself that you can't exist in the moment, you can't be alive in the moment, something is really holding you back. You have to find out what it is and work on it. So be in the moment, live in the present. And something else, we should learn finances. Myself, I think I should, I should really go to a finance class or enroll in a finance course and really learn finances. Like it's really important to learn finances. It's really important to like learn finances as a woman because you'll be managing a lot of things you have to learn finances and people might dupe you because you're a woman so please be be a step ahead learn those finances and discipline can be used as a tool to love yourself not punish yourself like you can actually stick to a certain routine because of how that routine makes you feel at the end of the day do you feel accomplished do you feel wasted like once you're disciplined you'll start feeling very good about yourself and things slowly start working out for you especially if you're disciplined and invest most of your energy most of your time in your 20s making money make money money will never disappoint you money will never leave you money will never cheat on you no money will never disappoint you if it is a hundred dollars it will always be a hundred dollars so make money invest all your time in making money don't even invest your time in a relationship i told you those relationships in five years or even two or even one they won't matter invest most of your time in making money and stop oversharing stop telling people what you have going on like stop oversharing keep things to yourself stop oversharing not everyone is like most people are not happy to see you thriving most people want you to be miserable so stop oversharing learn who to share with and if there's no one you can share with keep it to yourself keep it to yourself until like it matures keep it to yourself
and learn to love your own company by the in your 20s if you don't embrace your own company if you don't embrace like being by yourself like learning yourself like and enjoying that time genuinely oh my god you'll just be in the wrong relationships in the wrong friendships just because you want company and the real issue is that you're scared of being by yourself you're scared of being alone that's who you're scared of you're scared of you so please nurture a relationship with yourself once you like perfect the relationship with yourself it will be so easy to love other people it will be so easy to show up for them in the ways that they need you to show up for them it will be so easy to like care about other people because you care about yourself it will be so easy to take care of other people because you take good care of yourself you can't give what you don't have so invest all that love invest all that energy make money make money that's that's what i can keep saying just make money please money will never disappoint you so another thing i really learned from this video and myself i want to practice it is wear bright and bold colors step out of the box myself i really love black i don't know why i really love wearing black but as we've seen it's time to start wearing bright and bold colors it's time to step out of the box like don't let your outfit scream brand names all the time like you have no taste of like combining outfits and making them work like you should really also learn that combine outfits and make them work and people don't care as much as, as you think that they care imagine people don't give a shit as much as you think so stop limiting yourself based on what will people say blah 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 just please do you and something else i learned from this video is that honesty without compassion is brutal most people like to claim oh i'm just being honest but they are normally so brutal they are never compassionate and that's a person who hates you just watch how people like claim they're being honest talk to you just watch their energy when they're delivering that to you that will tell you everything you, you need to know and something else i learned the hard way Right now I'm 28, so something I've learned in the last eight years is that your empathy will cost you. It will cost you hard. You see the way you think like, oh, this is the right thing to do as a Christian. Let me be so empathetic. Let me just be a good girl. My dear, it will cost you. It will take you nowhere. Nowhere. Doing right by people will take you nowhere. Be a beast be a beast let them hate you <laughs> let them know who they are dealing with it will take you nowhere empathy will cost you be selfish it will cost you and this is hey this is coming from experience this is not coming from a place of bitterness but from experience please your empathy keep it for you keep it for your children and keep it for those you care about don't give everyone your empathy it will cost you and people will start taking advantage of you because they know you're empathetic oh she's so caring she cannot say no even if i borrowed her one thousand dollars please be selfish let them know let them know you're selfish let them even tell people how selfish you are yes and, and the people who get it they'll know you're not selfish it just means you have stronger boundaries they cannot take advantage of you that easily so be a beast and never let me tell you something else i've learned in this life never be worried about people liking you or hating you in fact i enjoy more people hating me i really enjoy it because now the line is clear you see the line is very clear and we know we know we know our places we know we are enemies so you you'll hardly step on my line and that's how i prefer it so never 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 struggle to maintain a friendship or a relationship or do you want because you are afraid of people will hate you let them hate you you won't lose weight because they are hating you or even add your bank account won't be affected because they are hating on you in fact i prefer it that way rather than people who smile on your face but anyway they hate you it's just that you don't know so I just prefer it when the line is more clear. It's really easy navigating that type of a relationship. Let them hate you. The more haters you have, it means you're actually doing something right. People don't hate on something that is invaluable. Something else I need you to understand. People don't hate on invaluable things. They only hate on valuable things. So if you actually have many haters, it means you're doing something right. Never be afraid. Be a beast. Stand on business. Let people know they can't mess with you 
and when you when you are like that people actually are afraid based on what they've had they are afraid of messing with you <laughs> they are afraid of messing with you or they'll try and mess with you just to provoke you don't let it slide hold them accountable <laughs> Yes, something that's something I've learned the hard way. I used to be like this girl who like uh, let, let's have peace. Oh my god. Oh, oh no no, let's not do that. Oh please. Cast them out. Cast that man out. Cast them out. Let them know who they are messing with. Because people people know what they are doing. They just hope you don't. And if they know like they can't mess easy with you, that will actually decrease your dating pool. Because now all the joker men, all the men who are of no good intention to you will drop off. Because they can't handle Which will make it even easier to find the right man. Because even the right man doesn't want games. The right man is very serious. doesn't want games. And the way he'll carry himself, even you won't, you won't dare play with that man. Because you know what he's about. You, you won't dare play with that man. So yeah, I don't know whether there's something else I can remember I learned. Okay, the last thing that I'll say is that heavily invest in your appearance, your relationship, and your education. So this thing of telling people that, oh, education is not important, please, don't be lied to. Don't be lied to. Even me at some point, I believed that education is not that important. But trust me, it is. It is very, very important, especially to you as a woman. It is very important. People carry you differently when you're educated. You tend to speak differently. You tend to think critically, especially when you have higher education. People tend to critical think, and it opens doors faster. But the moment you don't have that education, people will just downsize you. People will just think, oh, she's saying nothing important. Especially, and if you're a woman of color, that is... <laughs> that is so bad so people will carry you anyhow so invest in your education let no one tell you oh education is not important it will not take you anywhere look at me i'm making so much money and i didn't even finish grade two please that is not you you just get educated if you can please do me i advise people to to just do it it will open doors for you that you never saw coming and it will open them faster and you are actually more confident when you're educated when you walk into a room when you apply for that job when you do this and this, you're very, you're very confident. Even if you get a job and you're educated, people don't actually mess with you because you know you have the credentials to go and look for a job elsewhere. But when you, when you don't have them, people treat you as if you're desperate, as if they are helping you so much. That's another thing I've come to learn the hard way. And I used to be told that, and I'm like, in my 22-year-old head, I was like, ah, education. <laughs> education but now oh my god oh my god education please invest in your education invest in your appearance appearance men are shallow men like just look at you like what they see is what they just internalize so men are shallow so invest in your appearance please don't be looking out here like oh oh what 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 invest in your appearance and life will teach you lessons until you're ready to learn them. So God will whip you if you are a Christian. God will whip you. He will whip your ass until you're ready to listen and learn. So the same problems will keep showing up. They'll keep showing up as a cycle, as everything. They'll keep showing up in your life until you're ready to learn. That friend will keep provoking you until you fight and now you notice they're not your friend. That job will keep making you miserable until you notice it's not for you. That relationship will, will be very detrimental to you. It will destroy you so that you can open your eyes and learn. So the sooner you learn, the better. And the sooner you learn to love yourself, sis, the better too. Like it will prevent you, it will protect you from so many downfalls. The sooner you learn to love yourself, the better for you. If you can start now, especially in your early 20s, even if you're in your late 20s, even if you're in your 30s listening to this, it's never too late to love yourself. Please do. It actually makes you a really good person once you learn to love yourself. It actually like heals all your, not all of them, but most of your trauma. It actually heals it subconsciously i don't know about you so anyway ladies we've come to the end of this video if you listen this far please leave this emoji 
down in the comment section below and i'll know you're a real one if you listen this far i you're a real one my dear i think i should invite you and cook for you lunch you're a real one so i'll be back with yet another video so this week we are doing a series whereby it's life advice advice for this and this group of women biggest regrets in life blah 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 like we have those kind of videos coming up so stay put stay please don't go away for too long please stay checking the channel and i'll upload them so without further ado do something nice for yourself today love on yourself be nice to yourself and those around you and i'll see you in the next video bye